Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for quarter two. This is for April through June of 2022. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, Cancer, and we're just going to see uh, what is going on for you at this time. Uh, I love this New Beginnings card. Definitely a really good card for you. So, um, a lot of good stuff coming up already. Um, I'm using the Prisma Visions Tarot. If you're wondering what deck this is, uh, also there will be, I'm just going to do these in one part, so I will be clarifying in this reading as well for you, Cancer. But uh, Cancer, let's see here what is going on for you. Uh, you have this um, fifth house card in, in your first position. I'll show you in a second. And the fifth house it says passions on it. The fifth, the fifth house rules passions, hobbies, things like that. And I feel that putting energy into those things that you enjoy is gonna be very important with this fifth house card. You also have the Ace of Cups as well. The Ace of Cups is pretty much anything that causes your emotions to overflow. The Ace of Cups is you know, your true happiness, your joy, whatever you wanna call it. So uh, you have the Ace of Cups, the Fool, and the King of Wands. Uh, right away, Cancer, if you are thinking about doing anything like a hobby-based um, business, if you're thinking about starting a, like a side hustle or anything like that that's based off of a hobby or something you enjoy, I would definitely do it. Um, the Fool, King of Wands. King of Wands is like the true entrepreneur. Um, I'll show you in a minute, but you know he raises something like a child. He really, really takes care of something. So if he starts a business that's based off of something that he loves with the um, Ace of Cups here, he's pretty much guaranteed to be successful. The other interesting thing that I see here is that if we go like this, King of Wands, Queen of Swords to the Ten of Cups, it's like you know what is going to lead to true happiness. Ten of Cups is like fortune after difficulty. There's good things happening after a difficult period of time. So there are clearly some major improvements coming in for you. But I would definitely take a leap of faith at this time you know, to uh, kind of fulfill yourself. The Ace of Cups could be any form of fulfillment and anything that you enjoy. And I feel like the Fool is saying, you're ready. You're ready for a victory. You're ready to take action. And again, the King of Wands uh, is something that you really can put your heart and soul into. By the way, if you're looking for love, I also feel like this is a very good reading for you feels a little bit immature to me. And I don't mean like you're immature or the person's immature. I just mean that the situation needs to mature. It just, you know, that's what happens, right? <laughs> it's like we get into a relationship, it just takes time for it to develop. So I feel for some of you, this is like a relationship situation that could be coming in for you. And, um, you know, it looks really, really good to me. It looks like one of those things where if you give it the time to develop, I feel like it'll develop in a very, very good way. So, um, you know, I like to see that. Uh, next, you have this New Beginnings card. This is coming up in the area of um, messages from your future self. At, this is what your future self would tell you if you talk to your future self at in June. Basically, what your future self wants you to do this quarter. And the New Beginnings card, I feel like, is saying that your future self wants you to have a new beginning. You have the Four of Wands here. Four of Wands is a, a portal card. And you have the Four of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. And what I would say here is it's like I, the Four of Wands is a portal card. Normally, there are people celebrating on the other side of the Four of Wands. And they are like saying, come over here. We want you to celebrate with us over here. Queen of Swords is like, you see that you should be on the other side of the Four of Wands. You see that you should be celebrating with those people on the other side of the Four of Wands. The Five of Pentacles is like, but I don't have the resources <laughs> to do this. I actually think you do. So I feel like some of you need to have a celebration. I feel like some of you need to go to the other side of the Four of Wands. I feel like you need to step through the portal. Sometimes I feel with the Four of Wands, it kind of looks like a pause symbol. You know, it's two two wands, two wands on either side. Sometimes I feel like we pause, you know, it's like we feel like we have to pause. We feel like we can't progress. We feel like we can't move forward for whatever reason, right? I would be careful here. You have the devil. The devil is going down to the six of cups and the three of pentacles. I feel like there could be some artificial, you know, barriers that you are putting on yourself. And, um, you know, I, do I have any really good examples? I would say not really, but what, you know, this is what's popping into my head. I'm just going to tell you, it might make sense to some of you, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, do I ever make sense? Probably not. But what I'd say is, it's like if you're trying to make money, for example, it's like sometimes I think we feel bad for trying to make money or we feel like people are going to judge us or, you know, call us names or whatever if we're trying to do things. Like, I feel like that's an artificial barrier. You know, it's like you're worried about what other, pe other people think. People, you know, someone's always going to think that you're a scammer. Someone's always going to think that you're stealing money and all this other stuff, right? There are just tons of jerks in the world. That's how it is. And I feel like we have to ignore that. And I really feel 
that this row is talking about that. I feel like this row, for whatever reason, is kind of talking about artificial um, pauses that you put on yourself and that you are almost preventing your own celebrations. I feel like you need to not care what people think, Queen of Swords. She sees exactly what she needs to do. She just needs to do it. Queen of Swords kind of represents a transformation. And in this middle row here, it goes to the Ace of Swords. So I do feel like there is a transformation coming in for you personally. And you have the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles, there's a place of sanctuary right here. It's a church. And it's a card that says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. Uh, even in the area of the unexpected here, you have this um, despair card. This deck is a little bit negative, but you know, I feel like this is saying focus on what you, your strengths, not on your weaknesses. It's actually a pretty good row. Ten of Cups, Devil, Hermit. The Devil, you know, kind of whatever, both ways, right? But the Hermit kind of says you have gone through your dark night of the soul. You've learned everything you need to learn, so don't call attention to your weaknesses. Ten of Cups, same thing. I want to see. Yeah, look at this. You have this great fortune card right here. See, there are good things coming in for you. And I feel like that's what you need to focus on uh, this quarter is like all the good things that could be coming in for you. Uh, sorry, I wanted to switch to this one. Uh, you have the Ten of Cups, the Devil, and the Hermit here. Uh, with the Devil next to the Queen of Swords like this, I would be very careful of like gossip. I've been telling people all year it's a Mars retrograde year. I, you know, I don't care that it's at the end of the year. I would say this entire year, I would definitely avoid gossip talking behind people's back and all that other stuff. And I would also avoid any toxic people in general. Not only is it a Mars retrograde year, there's just a lot of truth that could be coming out. Maybe not this year, but there's a lot of this buildup of energy where I believe that a lot of truths are going to be exposed. So, you know, don't end up in a situation where you said something about a person and it comes back on you, number one, right? Number two, um, this could be a good thing because a lot of truths are being exposed, but I kind of feel like this is saying avoid toxic people. Uh, the Hermit, I feel like it's everything that you have accomplished. I feel like the hermit is saying that you've accomplished a great deal. There's a lot of success coming in for you. And I feel that you need to move forward. Normally his feet are frozen at the top of the mountain that he is standing at. If he were to just put his lantern down by his feet, he would be set free. And I get that for you here, Cancer. I feel like you need to set yourself free. I feel like you need to remove any artificial boundaries that exist in your life. And I feel like you need to focus on this. Guess what? Uh, the, the whole point of the Ten of Cups is that the family on the Ten of Cups, they still have to deal with all the problems of the world, but they are choosing to focus on their joy and their happiness. And that's exactly what I feel like you need to do here, Cancer. I feel like there's a lot of joy and happiness coming in for you this quarter, but it's something that you have to focus on. Again, the Queen of Swords, so there's like, you know, it's kind of like having something behind your back, right? Something hanging over your head, maybe even. And the devil, something that steals your energy. I feel like that's the only thing, I really feel like your kind of higher self, your, your future self, your guides, whatever, they want you to avoid that energy. Even in the area of messages from your guides here, you ha which I can't pick up these cards, you have this kite card, it says vacation. You also have this fox, which says shrewdness, ruthful, uh, resourcefulness, especially in business. So I feel like you are very resourceful at this time. But foxes, you know, are kind of trickster animals. Foxes can represent uh, trickster energy and all that other stuff. So I would pay very close attention with these cards. I would make sure that you're kind of paying attention to tricky people. Uh, other than that, I feel like you could be going on a vacation or uh, catching a break here, Cancer. Uh, in this row, you have the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is all about gathering your resources. And I also feel like you just have a lot of resources at this time. So it kind of looks like your financial situation could be improving uh, significantly with this King of Pentacles energy. The Ace of Swords is a victory. So I do feel like there are victories coming in for you with the Ace of Swords. I also feel something about truths coming out here. Um, like I said, with that devil card, you know, Queen of Swords, devil, the Ace of Swords, like seeing the truth or seeing the truth about a toxic situation. So I do feel like some of you could be seeing the truth. And uh, finally, you have the Six of Cups and the Three of Pentacles here. The Six of Cups is a card of kind of a gift from the universe and Three of Pentacles is a card of quality work or doing a good job. Sometimes I just feel that the Six of Cups, we the gift that we receive with the Six of Cups is progress or forward movement. And that's kind of what I feel for you. 
I feel like you're just moving forward towards like a goal, wish, or dream with that six of cups. And, you know, maybe there have been some obstacles in the past for you um, to accomplish something, but it's like you're accomplishing something. So uh, love it. Uh, let's dig into this. We're going to uh, clarify this now here, Cancer, and we're going to see what is going on for you. With the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, you have the Three of Pentacles. So again, teamwork makes a dream work this year. I've been saying it to everybody. <laughs> um but Three of Pentacles is a card of quality work. So, you know, with the fifth house here, passions, I was talking about what can you pour your heart and soul into? Three of Pentacles is being able to do a good job at something and seeing results because of it. So that's what I'd focus on. With the Fool and the Queen of Swords, the Moon, not seeing things clearly. Again, this whole middle row here, Fool, Queen of Swords, Devil, Ace of Swords. It's like there have been some secrets that have been kept behind your back. I literally just said that a couple seconds ago, basically. And I do feel like there are some truths that are coming out here. It's like the things, it's almost like the things that have been holding you back are being revealed. Um, these could be personal. They could also be external uh, as well. I kind of feel like it's a combination of both. I feel like part of me feels that the areas of your life that you've been stuck are, there's like a like a little bit is out of your control. And then I feel like some things are definitely in your control. So I, you know, I feel like by taking control in general, which it looks like you're going to be doing, uh, then you can set yourself free. Uh, with the King of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is about being bold and assertive and really going for something. So again, I feel like you're going to have to be very confident. I feel like you're going to have to be bold because again, it's like things are being revealed to you. It's like you're understanding why you were stuck now. So now it's time to be bold, stick up for yourself and set yourself free. Uh, the Queen of Wands could be personal. Queen of Wands, she normally has a black cat in front of her and it kind of represents, you know, most people think black cats are unlucky and so she doesn't care. She loves a cat <laughs> and that's the whole point of the Queen of Wands is that she doesn't care what people think and I feel embracing that energy would be a good idea for you. You also have the King and Queen of Wands here, so if you're looking for love, this could be a very solid connection coming in for you, um, you know, something that makes you really happy. With the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups, you have the King of Pentacles again in that top row. So this could be love that's coming in for you. Again, if there's love coming in, it could be someone who wants something permanent like marriage or a permanent commitment. I like the King of Pentacles. And again, it doesn't matter what gender you're attracted to. This is just the energy the person is embracing. And what I would say here is that I feel the person you could be attracting is very stable. They want stability and they're focused on like long term, not short term things. With the Queen of Swords and the Devil, you have the Seven of Swords. Uh, there is definitely a truth situation coming out here. <laughs> uh, some sort of truth is being revealed clearly, and it's a tr but the good news is it's going to set you free. Again, for some of you, I feel like the truth that's you know the secret that's being revealed or whatever. It's like, is what has been holding you back for a very long time. And I feel like it's multiple things in your life. This is a very good reading. I feel like that you're being set free really here, Cancer. Um, so love it. With the Five of Pentacles and the Hermit, you have the Ace of Swords. Again, victory, freedom, um, you know, success coming in for you. So like I said, I feel like clearly you are being set free at this time. I feel like there are some victories coming in for you as well. With the Ten of Cups and the King of Pentacles, you have the Two of Cups, perfect match, soulmates. Uh, again, if you're attracting love, this is extremely good. There is like a total, you know, positive connection here. I also love the Three of Pentacles for love because the Three of Pentacles is a person who really wants to put the work in, someone who really kind of wants to be in something forever. Um, and also someone who wants to see a result, you know, like th there's that that's amazing. <laughs> uh, with the Devil and the Ace of Swords, now what, right? Three of Wands. This to me is saying, okay, things are, you you know, what has been holding you back is going to be exposed to you, is going to be revealed during these three months. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to sit there and wait? Or are you going to take action? Three wands says take action. Three wands says do not wait, right? Is my card of waiting for the perfect moment when there never is one? So the perfect moment is now. I feel like the time is now to take action, um, you know, either against something or towards something. Uh, with the Hermit, Six of Cups and the Three of Wands, you have the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is conflict in competition, but it's really a card of learning. You know, Five of Wands is a card of learning from conflict and competition. So I feel like there could be a lot of success coming in for you. Uh, it's also a card I call Indiana Jones because to me, it represents accomplishing a lot. Um, you know, going through some sort of difficulty and earning a reward, Hermit. You have the Hermit right next to it. And then you have the Six of Cups, which is the reward. Uh, top row outcome, you have the Ten of Swords, leaving something behind. Again, some of you, I'm not going to like sugarcoat it. I feel like some of you could be feeling stabbed in the back if it's a person 
who has been holding things back or if you are discovering that a person is toxic, the good news is, well, what I would say here is this reading is saying take action, move away from that person, get away from that person, cut them out of your life. Uh, middle row, you have the four swords. You will recover from this. You will, will you'll be fine. I feel like you're, I feel like you're going to be better than ever, honestly, is what I would say to you. And, uh, bottom row, six of swords, which popped out at the beginning of the reading, right? Or just popped out a second ago. So, uh, six of swords is amazing. Moving on to calmer shores. Definitely some improvements coming in for you here, Cancer. So I feel like you're moving in the right direction, and I feel like you're seeing a lot of improvements with the Six of Swords. Uh, I love this reading for you, Cancer. Pretty simple. I feel like a truth is being revealed, and or something's being exposed about like what's been holding you back, and you're finally moving away from it. Plain and simple. I also feel like there is love here as well, if you want it. It could be unexpected. I do feel like it could be an earth sign as well, but it'd be a perfect match. And I feel like it's a person, you know, Three of Pentacles really is a person who they say something and they do it. So, you know, very good connection. But uh, thank you for being here, Cancer. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your quarter.